How's it going guys? As you can tell by the title of the video, this is something I probably should have done a long time ago. You guys have asked this question um, a lot, whether it's over Instagram or over Twitter, and I, I don't really answer it because I, I knew one day, or I answered a few of them, but I, I knew one day I'd, I'd make a setup video um, and decide to do it now. So I felt like this is a perfect time, I don't have much to do at this moment. So I'm going to give you guys the setup that I currently have. It's not the greatest of all time setups, it's not stu super dummy expensive. It's really affordable if you work a little bit, work hard, save up some money. Um, no matter what, iRacing is expensive. So it's always gonna cost you a good amount of money if you don't have any of the equipment, which I did not have. So I'm gonna show you guys the setup here right now. So this is the setup. You can see it's not really all that complicated. Um, it, it's really simple. Uh, there's a few things I have to adjust as, well, the wheel I have, I can't, technically bolt it down into the wood because I, I continuously move from Gainesville to here. I have to go back to Gainesville in a, a few weeks and maybe I'll make another video showing this up there, but it's, it's pretty much the same. So we have this little piece of wood thingy that I got for my furniture, clamped it down with some clamps and I uh, placed that a little bit off of the desk uh, and that's where I put the wheel. So the wheel is a PlayStation T150. Now this wheel, all the equipment here will be in the description below. So if you wanna just get an idea of how much everything costs um, and how much it'll be in total, everything's in the description below. So the wheel, again, a PlayStation T150. It is arguably, I think, probably the cheapest wheel that is good quality. Uh, you can get a wheel that is, I think, below $100. I think it's the Ferrari Spider 458 wheel. Um, but it does not have force feedback. This wheel does have force feedback, and force feedback, which comes out of here, is a big, big thing. It's huge when it comes to uh, being able to feel what the car is doing in iRacing. So I definitely would recommend this wheel for starters. This is what I have. They don't want to spend too much money. There are better wheels out there that maybe I'll upgrade in the future, um, but for now it does the job. Uh, and the only thing I would say that I complain a little bit is the force feedback is not the best, because obviously it's not, it's, and going along to say that you pay for what you get. So if you're not, you're not paying top dollar, you're not gonna get top quality. Uh, the, the force feedback does not give the best, I would say, feedback to my hands and to, my, to the way the car feels. But uh, I don't know, it feels pretty good, it works for now. We obviously have the PC. So this is a CyberPower PC that I bought from Best Buy. All the components are in here in the side. You can see I only have eight gigabytes of, eight gigabytes of RAM right now, which is that red stick right there, uh, the fans and the motherboard and the CPU all working. So this uh, PC is on Best Buy right now for $7.99. I got it on sale $100 off for $6.99. I don't know if they will make that sale again. But uh, what this PC has in it, it has an AMD Ryzen 5 processor, 1400, not top dollar. Like I said, it's, it's a pretty old processor. It's not very new. Um, and it is what it is pretty much, but it gets the job done. That's the biggest thing. The processor is so important. So like I said, it's an AMD 1405 Ryzen, but it's not like Intel i7, it's not like that, but you don't need that to run iRacing. I, when I run iRacing with that processor, it runs just fine. There's not a problem with it at all. The graphics card is a uh, Ryzen uh, a, or an AMD 580 graphics card. I think it's the AMD RX 580. Again, all the links are in the description uh, below this video. But basically, it gets the job done. Uh, I have the frames locked at 84. It does not go any higher than that, but it can if it wanted to. And during a race, I would say the lowest the, the frames go is probably 50 to 55, I would say, is the lowest it goes. I'm not running everything at the highest quality possible. A lot of people in iRacing don't because you don't need to. There's a lot of things in iRacing you don't need to have for it to really make any difference. So maybe I'll show the iRacing settings I have later in a future video. But no, you just, you can run good settings, not the top, top dollar settings, but the most important things like the cars, the tracks, the grandstands, uh, the mirrors and all that stuff, how many cars are in the mirror. All that stuff is completely fine, runs with no issue. I am looking to upgrade the processor though. I've been looking at it for a few months now and I'm just saving up some money. Uh, that way I can upgrade to the highest end AMD Ryzen processor because I'm a gamer. I like to play video games and I really wanna take advantage of my PC gaming. It won't really make a huge difference for iRacing. It'll help, but it won't make a huge difference. It's basically what I can do for playing other games. Like I wanna play Tomb Raider on the uh, PC. So playing games like that, I need to upgrade my processor. Again, that PC, the, the link, is in the description below 7.99 right now 
I would say wait for it to go on sale. I don't know when it will, but I'd say wait for it to get uh, maybe $100 off. That's when I got it, uh, I think, last year this time. So Also, you could buy a higher-end PC if you want. Maybe you could buy a little bit lower-end PC, uh, but I'm just not sure how it would run with iRacing. Next up, we have the monitor and the headset. This is an Asus or Asus monitor. Not exact, exactly sure how to pronounce it. Um, it has It's a 75 hertz refresh rate, so that means basically 75, 75 frames per second is what you could see on this monitor. It's in the description below as well, $170 I think right now. So again, it's it's not top dollar, but it is affordable. I think it's, it does the job. I used to have this TV over there. So what I would do is I'd play iRacing on the TV and then I over the summer I bought this monitor and it just helps my eyes. Playing iRacing on a 32 inch TV when you're so close to it. It, it, even though it helps you see more, it, it's not the best for the eyes and it just doesn't come off right. The headset is a Corsair headset. I think I paid about $60 for this. Uh, it gets the job done, really comfortable, does everything I need to do, don't need a fancy headset, gets the job done. And now probably what I think is the most important part of this entire setup, uh, two most important parts that I haven't touched on yet, the pedals and the chair. Now you will notice the pedals you can see them, but there's a unique setup to this that I have. So there are the pedals right there. They're the uh, Thrustmaster T3 uh, PA Pro pedals. These are high-end quality pedals. I think it cost me about $150. And the reason is this wheel does come with its own set of pedals, but they're kind of like a rubber material and I don't like the way they feel at all. And when you're, when you're driving on iRacing, if you want to be pretty good at it, you have to have a good feel with the pedals. So these pedals are basically all metal, steel, whatever it is, I don't know, but it's, it just feels really good. It feels heavy. That's what you'd like to, to feel. Now, you can see there's a lot of weird things around it. So what was going on was this desk is a little bit high and I couldn't, I couldn't bring it down. So I had to raise the pedals. So what I did with the help of my parents, I was just able to get um, multiple concrete tiles, which is in this part right here. They're just wrapped around a little blanket so it doesn't get dirty. Um, but those are multiple co concrete tiles and then one concrete tile on top of that. And then you set the pedals on top of the concrete tiles so it raises it up off the ground a little bit. Now behind it, I have a PS4 box. And the reason I have the PS4 box is because I needed the pedals to be not too far away from my feet. So I need it to be hitting a wall or hitting something where it keeps it in place. So that's why the PS4 box is there. It fills in that gap from the wall to the back of the pedals. And I'm able to uh, keep the pedals there. If I can maybe show my feet here. They don't, uh, they don't move. You know, I can just hit the brakes, hit the pedal. All feels really good and nothing feels wrong. It stays in place, feels really good, doesn't squeak or anything. Uh, easily probably the most important investment to make are these pedals. And last but not least, the one thing that causes me so much pain and I really hope to upgrade soon in the future because uh, it really does bother me a lot, but it does the job. This thing, this thing is the chair. Now you can tell here it's not that great of a chair. It is an Office Depot chair that probably costs around a hundred bucks, I think. The good thing is the arm bars go up. So as you can see there, they go up and that's really important. So if you're getting a chair specifically to play iRacing or something, you want the arm bars, the side bars to go up. Cause when you are sitting and you are racing, you want to be able to keep your elbows up. And if those arm bars are in the way, it will severely affect you. Now when racing, it does its job, you know, it, it can, do a pretty well job. The only thing is this back support, as you can see, is, uh, yeah, it's, it's not the best, you can imagine. Um, I lean back a lot in the chair, so I'm basically racing like, like this. I'm just leaning back pretty much a lot, trying to get it stable. This Persian rug is really important as well as it keeps the chair in place. The Persian rug is mainly a, a family thing. I'm Persian, so that's where I get the Persian rug. Um, but it keeps the, the chair in place. So you can see it has rollers on the bottom. Uh, it does not move when I'm racing or pressing on the gas pedal or the brakes. It does not move, which is really important. But the chair is something I need to upgrade desperately. I, I need to upgrade it desperately. Um, it doesn't, I, I'm going to have back pain for a little bit. I'm probably causing myself back pain in my future years uh, because of that chair. It's not comfortable. Uh, after, you, if you guys race with me at all in iRacing, you'll notice after maybe like a 60 or 70 lap run, I will complain about my ass just hurting, especially the left butt cheek. The left butt cheek just gets in a lot of pain and that's because there's just not a lot of comfort in the seat, not a lot of comfort with my lower back. My lower back is not really on anything because I'm leaning back most of the time. So it definitely does not feel the best, but it, like I said, it gets the job done. So that's the entire setup. 
I think it is I think it's pretty good. This is all I would say if you combine the wheel, the pedals, the chair, the monitor, and the PC and the headset, I would say maybe twelve hundred to thirteen hundred dollars would be your total price. That's because I never had any of this. If you already have a PC, if you already have a monitor, if you already have a headset, you can deduct that price a little bit. If you already have a chair, which I would say you have a chair, um, just like any kind of chair, you don't need one of those racer gaming chairs. As long as you have a chair, then you can race. So this is the setup. I think it's pretty good. It's pretty affordable. The one thing that I can't really use a lot, and you'll see here, is the uh, mouse and the keyboard. Now the reason is when I'm racing, this wire, right here is going all the way underneath into the back of this PC. So this does not come all the way out. You can see I can't pull it all the way out. So the keyboard usually is stuck and I can't really type. If you guys know when I race on iRacing, I don't usually text in the chat much because I can't, I can't get to my keyboard. I can only use the mouse here, but I can't actually get to the keyboard. So what I do is I just make sure I put hotkeys on here. This is for, uh, I think this is the relative, or this is the push to talk. This is the relative button. This is the leaderboard fuel. Uh, down here we have the buttons for tire wear and stuff like that. You just set it up that way. Um, so I just basically use this for everything. I use the mouse for just navigating stuff and push to talk and stuff like that. And then we go off and race. So that's the setup. Hopefully I helped you guys out or showed you what I have basically. Um, I think it's an affordable setup for anyone who wants iRacing. You'll just have to know that you will have to spend money. This this is not even taking part of the, the membership, the iRacing membership that can cost, I think it's maybe $80 a year or something like that. Um, so, or I think it's $100 a year. I don't know what it is, but it's, it's pretty expensive. So when you go through that, and then you go through all this, it, it can, and you don't have any of it to start, it's an investment. You know, it's, it's if you wanna have some fun, and if you wanna race, it, it's gonna cost a little bit of money, but then again, it's racing, so everything costs money nowadays. But hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. I'm sorry it took so long. Um, and again, all the links are in the description below for everything that I have and where I got it from. Uh, for the PC, I'd recommend if you have any friends that know about uh, PC gaming, you can build your own PC for a little bit of a cheaper price. Uh, the most important components are the CPU, the motherboard, and the graphics card. Uh, and you just gotta make sure you do well on those. I'm gonna upgrade my CPU to that top of the line AMD Ryzen uh, very soon, probably in the next few months, uh, so I can play the new Tomb Raider games and anything that comes out on PC. So I'll see you guys later. Hope you have a great day. If you like the video, make sure you hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. Comment down below uh, if you have your own PC setup. Let me know what it is or if you have any recommendations on what I could do with this one. Um, again, like I said, hopefully I helped you guys out, and I'll see you guys later. Peace. I can't change. Even if I try, even if I wanted to, and I can't change. Even if I try, my love, my love, my love, she keeps me warm.